teaching very popular doctor very. the reason my baby is falling sick is because my baby is teaching they say my baby is teaching i have to give my baby teaching medicine please help us address this is it true that when a child is not coming out with the different uh, teeth the child will always fall sick and if it does happen how should this be handled teething teething <laughs> i think is one of the most you know the way people always say the, the, you know accuse the devil and say ah it's the devil that made me do it no it's not the devil that made them do it so they did it mm. with their own church mind yes but that's the same reputation that teething has they were accusing teething of things that Titan did not do. So, Titan is a natural process. Titan is a very natural process in which children begin to bring out their teeth or erupt teeth. Now, the myth, main myth about Titan is that Titan causes fever and mm -hmm. nothing could be further from the truth. Titan does not cause fever. Take it to the bank. I repeat, Titan does not cause a child to have temperature. Their bodies can feel hotter than usual but if you take a measurement that body temperature will never reach 38 degrees which is which is another thing that we do not do i think as a society here we don't measure our babies our children's temperatures i know that um you know and i don't dispute a mother the mother says that her child has a fever i tell her i agree with you your child has a fever when i now begin to become a little bit uh you know skeptical is doctor it's only the head that is hot hmm. and i'll be like okay only the head what about the body the body feels normal and in that situation i would actually want the mom to tell me a temperature reading so that i know if truly there's a fever or if this is just the the head getting warmer than usual so when it comes to teething go 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 teething is a process by which the teeth erupts usually it happens between four months and six months but for some children, it might not happen until one year. So, as the teeth erupt, they can become, <coughs> sorry, they can become a little bit irritable. They'll be drooling saliva, rubbing their gums on a lot of things. They might refuse certain foods. They might refuse food. They might not eat as much as possible. They might pull a little bit more frequently because all that saliva that they are drooling is making their um, you know, intestine to move faster. However, it doesn't give them temperature, it does not give them cough, it does not make them lose weight, and it does not give them watery poo poo. So, what I found is that a lot of parents will just not go to the hospital because they assume that this child is having a high temperature because it is teething. Meanwhile, it is not the teething, it can be a viral infection, it can be a horrible bacterial infection, it can be an ear it can be a urinary tract infection, but they will sit in the house giving all sorts of teethy mixtures, giving all sorts of ibuprofen. Meanwhile, the bacteria that is dealing with the child is getting free opportunity to do so because the mother and parents are assuming that it is teethy that is causing the temperature, meaning that the chances that we could have had to start treatment for that child on time is lost because they are sitting down at home and they are giving to the powder, hoping that the temperature will go. Meanwhile, the teething powder doesn't really even take care of whatever is going on. The teething powder has certain things in it, you know, apart from things that help to relieve temperature. It has things that make the child a little bit sleepy. And so you see a child that was irritable before. And the next thing, the child becomes calm, not really because the child is not uncomfortable anymore, because the child is now drowsy, because they've given teething powder that has things that make children and make anybody anybody you give those kind of drugs to make them calm and so the calm child the mother is happy that oh, the child is calmer but the child is not a good calm because the child has been given a drug that's that is making the child sleepy and slow and sluggish 